Following on from Raf's video about Free Radical, FRD were very close to releasing Star Wars Battlefront 3 back in 2009. So how come a game that was allegedly 99% finished got canned? Let's quickly take a look back at Star Wars Battlefront 2. After Battlefront 1 did so well, LucasArts gave Pandemic Studios just 12 months to smash together a sequel. Against all odds, the game delivered on time and was fantastic. Reports say that a LucasArts producer suffered a breakdown in delivering the game on time, but Battlefront 2 recreated the success of the first game and LucasArts learned that you can treat people like sh** and still get great results. This pattern would repeat itself for Star Wars Battlefront 3 and later the Force Unleashed series. Immediately after Battlefront 2 shipped, Pandemic began developing mercenaries for LucasArts, so a new developer was required to take on Battlefront 3. LucasArts settled on UK-based developer Free Radical Design. Free Radical had previously released the Time Splitters trilogy, and key members had developed Rare's GoldenEye 007 for the N64. If there's one developer who could handle frantic multiplayer gameplay, it was FRD. The focus of Battlefront 3 was enormous battles, and would have seen players seamlessly transition from ground-based fighting into aerial or space combat, piloting a capital ship getting out and running around in the ship's interior, jumping into a starfighter, rocketing down to a planet's surface to fight on their feet, all in the same battle. The single player's story was to centre around two Force-sensitive clones named X-1 and X-2. X-2 was to defect during Order 66 and would later be trained by the Force Unleashed's Ram Kota, while X-1 would stay loyal to the Empire. This story would have introduced brave new ideas into the Star Wars mythology, and it was intended to increase the game's focus on lightsaber combat and Force powers. Despite these obvious challenges, Free Radical were hitting development milestones and creating quote unquote amazing work. For nearly two years, with money in their pockets and honey in their ears, Free Radical could almost forget that their own internal project, Hayes, was floundering. My partner in crime, Raf, has covered the story of Free Radical in another video, but the long and the short of it was that FRD was spending more money than they had coming in. The relationship between Free Radical and LucasArts started to fray as LucasArts entered into a change of upper management and FRD began to struggle under their own internal issues. Early in 2008, LucasArts went through three CEOs, seeing development operations scale back fiercely. Free Radical were pushed hard for Battlefront 3, heightening the tension between the two companies. David Duak, Free Radical's creative director, started to doubt that the scale of Battlefront 3 could be delivered in the projected time frame. LucasArts had previously been flexible with deadlines and generous with milestone payments, but as tension mounted, LucasArts began to scrutinize Free Radical's work and started to stall on payments. After six months of withheld money, Free Radical started to think that LucasArts were attempting to sabotage their game, whereas some employees at LucasArts began accusing FRD of operating a Ponzi scheme, using LucasArts money to finish the development of Hayes. With over 200 employees, no money coming in and external pressure mounting all the time, the situation became impossible to reconcile and Duak had a nervous breakdown before quitting Free Radical. Later in 2008, Free Radical claimed that the game was 99% complete and just needed a final round of bug testing. Despite this, LucasArts pulled the plug on Battlefront 3, and at their 2008 staff Christmas party, Free Radical was entered for administration. 140 people lost their jobs as UK-based Rebellion Developments hoovered up Battlefront 3's assets and collated them into the PSP exclusive Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. The last vestiges of FRD leaked as much of their work as they could so that we could all see their achievements before they were forever consigned to history. The breakup with Free Radical would haunt LucasArts, causing them to lose their appetite for working with third-party developers. Another run at Star Wars Battlefront 3 with Canadian developer Slant 6 ended the same way as Free Radical's attempt, with the final nail in the coffin coming when Disney acquired LucasArts in 2012 and ceased all games development and laid off nearly the entire team. EA DICE released their Star Wars Battlefront in late 2015. Despite those gorgeous graphics, the scope of Free Radical's huge flowing battles was nowhere to be seen. We'll never really know what Free Radical's game would have been like and we'll never really know what happened behind closed doors. But looking at this leaked content, it's fair to say that Battlefront 3 may well have turned the industry upside down. What a game this could have been. Thanks so much for watching. For more Star Wars videos, subscribe to The Game Show.